Hello and welcome my dear grade 8 elite students to my channel Mathematics Made Easy. This is Mr. Chika welcoming you to today's session on lesson 7-2 substitution. Our learning objectives or learning outcomes in this session would be to solve system of equations by using the substitution method. So let's get to know the vocabulary word. The word is substitution. Substitution basically means putting the value or replacing the variable putting the value or replacing so as you would see in the lesson today you are going to substitute or replace one variable and its value or expression into the other equation so let's see how we solve the problems in today's session so there are going to be three steps we are going to be following for solving systems of equations by substitution. This is an algebraic method using algebra that we will be solving. Steps, uh, there are three steps here, step one, step two, step three, step one, when necessary, solve at least one equation for one variable. So you are going to solve one equation, two will be given to you for one variable, which is easy to find. And then you are going to replace or substitute it in step two in the other equation. So from step one, you will get the value of the variable and you will put it in the other equation or replace the variable and then solve the equation. Just simplify it. In step three, you will substitute the value from step two of one variable variable that you have got into the other equation so that you get the other variable also and you will write the solution as an ordered pair so generally x and y will be the two variables so we are going to be dealing with ordered pair solution as x comma y so in today's session you will be solving linear equations in two variables into uh, two equations so the solutions the type of solutions can be of three types types of solutions so there are three types number one where you have unique or one solution either you have infinite or many solution or you have no solution in case it has unique solution one or many solution it is called consistent system of equation Equ consistent means it has a solution now it may have one solution it may have many solution but still it has a solution so it is consistent However, it is going to be inconsistent system of equations if it does not have any solution. So unique solution is like x comma y, an ordered pair, one solution. If it has infinite or many solution, it will be dependent. So there's a term called independent so independent system of solution when it is having unique solution and dependent if it is having infinite solution so this is like a flow chart of the summary of the lesson in today's video you are going to look at one solution in part two and part three of the video you look at infinite and no solution so let's look at a question. This is a check from the math book that I've selected for you. You are given two equations. This is the first equation. This is the second equation. And there are two parts to the question, part A and part B. In part A, you have to say which expression could be substituted for y in the first equation to find the value of x. So y you have to substitute in the first equation to find the value of x. So which one is easy? Just look at the coefficients. The coefficient of x here is 3. The coefficient of y is minus 2. The coefficient of y is 1. The coefficient of x is 2 here. So it's easy to substitute value of y. So you are going to plug in y is equal to 2x plus 2 from the second equation into the first equation. So the answer will definitely be c. And let's solve it and see what solution we get for this question in the next slide. 
Let me write the problem here again for you. The first equation is 3x minus 2y equal to minus 17. The first linear equation. The second linear equation is y equal to 2x plus 2. So from the second equation, we are substituting in the first one. So wherever there is variable y, I'm going to plug in 2x plus 2. That's called substitution. That's called replacing. So substitute y equal to 2x plus 2 from two equation into first equation. So what do we get? 3x minus 2 times y is replaced with 2x plus 2 from the second equation is equal to minus 17. And whenever you have brackets, you know you are going to multiply using distributive property. So that's exactly what I'm doing here. And there's a negative sign, so I'm going to change the sign of the terms here. Now, combine the like terms. 3x with minus 4x would give you minus x. Minus 4 moves on the other side, becomes positive. So minus x is minus 13. Replace the negative. It becomes positive. So x is 13. One variable you have got. Here step 2 is colors. In step 3, you put x equal to 13 where? In equation 2. In equation 2. Why? Because y is equal to 2x plus 2. So this is going to be 2 times put value 13 on, in place of x. So this is 26 plus 2, which is 28. So you have got y, you have got x. So what is your final solution? The ordered pair x comma y equal to 13 comma 28. So that's why your answer is D. One more question just to make you more comfortable in the method of substitution. So you are given two equations number one and number two. Now I want you to first of all think which equation is easier to substitute, which variable is easier to substitute. So let's look at, let me just highlight the coefficients. Yes, so the coefficient here is 5, the coefficient here is 3, the coefficient here is nothing but 1 and here it is 2. So now out of these coefficients, I want you to think which one is the easier to remove. Definitely, 1 is the easiest to remove. So x equal to, I put this on the other side, 13 minus 2y. Substituting the value of x from equation 2 into equation 1 would be more easy. So now we solve the second equation for x since it has coefficient of 1. I've already explained this to you. We get the value minus 13 minus 2y. I'm going to put this value in equation 1 now. So what do you get when you substitute? You do the distributive property. So as you can see, we have distributed. So we are going to multiply now term by term and you are going to get minus 65 minus 10y plus 3y equal to 5. Collect the like terms. The like terms are these and you get minus 7y. Now move 65 on the other side. It becomes 70. So your y is minus 10. Now you have got your y. So what you are going to do next, you are going to put it here in the expression for x from equation 2. So substitute y equal to minus 10 in this expression and what you get is the value of x. So on simplifying this comes out to be 7. So the solution is x comma y which is 7 comma minus 10. That's how you solve two linear equations using algebra, using substitution and the algebraic method.